Hello everyone, your friend Michael Jacobs. I'd like to welcome you to the Explosive Golf Show. The topic of today's show is speed and acceleration. And this is a show to introduce my new movie coming out in the fall, Explosive Golf Number 2. So how can we help you here? Well, one of the most common things that I hear gripes about from my students, we watch their swings, we analyze, they tell me about their games. A lot of you out there have your own cameras and things. And one of the most common things that people talk about is this contact and how they notice that their arms or their body pull in or, or they'll notice that their club head and body isn't working in a proper sequence and they'll lead to what we would call over accelerating the club head into the contact. One of the most common things that everybody always talks about is how they notice their arms pulling into them. So what causes this? And how does somebody put the right acceleration profile into their shot? So that's the topic of today's outdoor show. Now, when we have a golfer who is having trouble putting the right type of speed and using the club head properly, we can usually and almost certainly trace it back to somewhere within their swing where there is a deficiency in the body movement. So let me explain to you how, how I can help you with that. If I was going to create some force, let's say I was going to knock something over, I would do something along the lines, if it was up here, you know, on a higher angle, I would do something to where I would use my body to thrust that club to knock something over. So you'll notice that my body reaches peak speed, then my arms, then this club. You'll notice that as this is all being transferred to the club, you'll notice that my body is somewhat slowing down or breaking, my arms are reaching peak speed right around here, and then the club is reaching peak speed. So it's being transferred from my body down to my arms, down to my club. And you as a golfer or a baseball player, everybody always thought they were a better hitter in baseball, well, it was easier. I mean, I know the pitch was moving and it was fast, but it was easier to do it up here, or it's easier to do a baseball movement because your chain is not as closed. Here's what I mean by that. This body movement I'm making, if, if the thing I was striking up here, allows me to rotate my body more and allows me to open up the chain of movements more than when I'm striking something on the ground as a golf ball. Uh, if you measured the pelvis or the, or the body movements of a baseball player, they're going to be allowed to be much more open than a golfer because a golfer is more confined to something that's on the ground on a different angle. Um, a completely open chain, like a majorly open chain, would be like a soccer kick or a football kicker to where they would be approaching to strike their thing and their sequence of body movements would be completely open. So that would be your maximum openness in the chain or the sequence of body movements. And golf is pretty close to being one of the most closed off chain of movements. I think that's what makes it a little more difficult. Not only that, we're striking with a very small sweet spot and a very small ball. So when we're training ourselves, it's hard for golfers to understand and wrap their brain around that their arms and hands are reaching peak speed somewhere in this area before it's transferred to the club where that reaches peak speed at the end into the contact. Most golfers are getting down into this point and then they're trying to speed their arms up and speed their hands up, which will eventually throw this club off course, make the shaft, as we saw in the, uh, this is a three-part show, we saw in the acceleration profile, how there was a lot of indents or waviness in the shaft in poor, poorer golfers, because they're still or trying to pour on arm speed at the last second, and they're not transferring it down to the club head. So, the first thing I want you to understand is that there's a sequence of body movements, if I was kicking a soccer ball or something like that, it would be easier because my body's more open. It's called more of an open chain. Same with baseball. But because it's golf and it's on the ground, it's more of a closed chain. Understand that my pelvis, then my trunk, going to reach peak speed, then my arms. And somewhere along the line in this area, my arms and hands reach maximum pull or push on this club. And then it's going to be transferred to the club head. So I'm not trying to speed my arms up into the, into the shot. So let me show you how you could be more, become more efficient with this.